Afghanistan's first female tattoo artist is breaking boundaries, but along with getting attention, she's also getting threats for her unconventional line of work in a society still constrained by conservatism. Chuck Tinte with the story. Working from a mobile tattoo shop in Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, Soraya Shahidi is passionate about making body art, despite the fact that she receives death threats for doing it. Creating tattoos is my profession, a profession which I am very interested in. Societal rules in Afghanistan often forbid a woman from touching a man to whom she is not related or married to. But changing attitudes in the country are allowing women like Soraya to pursue lines of work that put them into close contact with such clients. Despite such newfound freedoms, a major concern for Afghans like Soraya is that the return of Taliban rule would endanger these changes. If their return interrupts our work and the freedom of women is impeded, then I will be the first woman to stand against them because I don't want such a scenario to happen. Women like Soraya have carved out a space for themselves in a society where custom heavily restricts their roles and education. But there's a long way to go in changing attitudes towards tattoo artistry. It is vain and forbidden. It does not bring any beauty for the youth's appearance. It just brings them disgrace, and it is not going to benefit them in any way. Omid Nuri has 16 tattoos all over his body. He wants new designs on parts of his body that his clothing can hide. I'm thinking that if the Taliban return, they'll cut off my hands and legs. Recently, when Soraya went to meet a customer at a hair salon, the customer's husband recognized her, allegedly threatening to kill the tattoo artist if she kept posting images of her work on social media. Being a woman in Afghanistan requires courage. You must have the courage to live in Afghanistan. Since divorcing her husband eight years ago while she was pregnant, Soraya now lives with her parents, working to educate her child while she studies business management at a local university. I am proud of myself as a single mother. I look after my son all alone, work and live here in Afghanistan. Chuck Tinta, CGTN.